This election isn't over yet, but we are getting a lot closer to a winner. Several key states are reporting new mail-in and absentee ballot totals as we speak. And in some of those states, Joe Biden is closing that distance between him and President Donald Trump. Good evening. I'm Leslie Foster. So let's get right to what's brand new tonight. Gabe Cohen is tracking the results that are just coming in. And Gabe, all eyes are on Georgia. It is so tight there. Yeah, that's right. It has been a dramatic night. We have a few major storylines tonight, but as you mentioned, none of them are bigger than what's happening right now in Georgia. Take a look at those numbers on the side and you can say, see it's virtually a tie. The very latest numbers, we're going to break those down for you. The president currently leads Joe Biden by 1,775 votes. And just a reminder, that number has been slowly decreasing, declining throughout the night. That percentage, while it says it's tied, technically the president is up about 0.04%. Just, it's hard to even imagine those numbers right now. And there is a very good chance that the former vice president is going to pass the current president uh, and take over the lead in Georgia later tonight. Now, the president has already called into question uh, what has been unfolding as Georgia, as we've seen uh, the, the, the state swing. But we will remind you that what the officials in the state have said is that right now they're counting mail in ballots. That's what they were going to be doing at the end of this process. And the president is the one who urged his supporters not to vote that way. He told them to vote in person, that it wasn't trustworthy. And so what we're hearing from several reports is that a lot of these mail in ballots, the ones being counted right now, they're coming from major cities and suburban centers like the Atlanta area, like the Savannah area. So that's something, again, to keep your eye on uh, as this race continues to unfold. 18,000 ballots, that's what reports are saying, are still to be counted. State officials there are already preparing for recount requests for the state of Georgia. Now, if Biden does win the state of Georgia, I want to just pop out give you a uh, better look at the whole map here. That would put him at 269 electoral votes. That would mean Arizona, Nevada, Pennsylvania, any of them would seal the deal. And, and this is obviously historic, what's happening in Georgia right now. A reminder, it hasn't gone blue since 1992. Leslie, so much about this election has been like, whoa, what is happening? All right, while we're talking vote totals tomorrow, we'll get some new numbers for races in Virginia. The law there says ballots postmarked by Election Day have to arrive by tomorrow at noon. So that's when those votes will get counted. President Trump appears set on filing a flood of legal challenges to the contest or to contest, I should say, what he claims are illegal votes. So here are three things to know right now. Tonight, a judge has denied a Trump campaign request to stop counting ballots in Philadelphia. His campaign has also lost a bid to have some ballots tossed out in Georgia. And a judge in Michigan is ruling against the Trump campaign and allowing the count to proceed in that state.